If a picture is worth a thousand words, how many words does a drone deploy walk speak? Well, in this video, you'll learn how to explore your drone deploy walks and interior and ground data. We'll walk you through how you can inspect your interior models, how you can collaborate with your team, identify issues, and be able to bring in your real-world drawings and designs and compare them against reality. Let's get started. Now that we have some ground and interior data, let's take a look at how we can explore this data in greater detail. Up at the top here, you'll see I'm currently on the interior view, and I can switch between the exterior and interior views if I have data in both locations. By default, we only have data on the interior view right now, so we've automatically been loaded into the interior view. Right here, I'm also able to go in and change or add additional levels. Currently, I'm on level one, but we also have level two, and you can add additional levels as you build out this project. By default, we're also filtering by all time, so I can view data across all time or, or filter by specific data over the past 30 days or seven days or a custom time period. This data and this filter will show you specifically what we're filtering in your main screen here. Since we filtered by all time, we're seeing all panos, walks, photos, or videos that have been captured across all time. I can view some of that on the left-hand side here, where I can see I'm viewing five walks currently and 24 panos. To establish this level, we also needed to bring in a floor plan or a site drawing in order to map these walks against them. And so we've already gone in and uploaded a first floor plan drawing, and if you have any revisions, you have the ability to bring them in here as well. At any point, you have the ability to bring in those site drawings as well, whether directly as a PNG or a PDF file, or if you're using an existing integration with Autodesk Construction Cloud or Procore, you'd be able to automatically bring those drawings into Drone Deploy and sync any revisions that might change in those original systems of record. Now let's take a look at some of the data itself. I can see on the first floor, we have quite a few different media already available for us to see. For example, I can see we've captured some uh, walks around the main atrium. We've captured some walks in the main uh, gymnasium, some walks along this corridor to the right, and some walks in the main auditorium. In addition to that, I can see a few individual pano stills were captured in a couple different locations. In general, we recommend using walks to capture areas that are large or along large corridors and taking 360 stills in individual rooms so that you get the best quality data. In addition to that, you'll see we've got a media group as well. And this is any photos or walks or panos that have been captured at that same location. And so this multi-view shows you the exact location that was captured in a single photo or a pano. I can see this was a walk that was captured on August 2nd and a still pano that was captured on August 1st. In addition to that, you can click into any point along this walk to jump into any one of these 360 nodes or click on a specific pano to take a look at that particular location. Let's take a look at one of these walks in the gym, for example. I'm going to go and select that point that I want to inspect in further detail. And from this walk, I'm able to go in and take a look at the inside of the gym. I've got context to where I'm located along the floor plan on the left-hand side here. And similar to if you've ever used Google Street View, you'd be able to go around and navigate around any of these walk points that were automatically generated from that original walkthrough. Within this view as well, if you identify any issues, you'd be able to use our issue tool to go in and identify that issue. Once you've created that issue, you can classify it by a specific type. You can customize this list specific for your company, or if you're using our Procore Autodesk integrations, you'd be able to pre-fill this list with specific observation types. You can also give it a quick summary, a severity value, and a cost of repair that can later be used to aggregate that data in a single PDF report. And I can send this over as an observation to BIM 360 or to Procore directly. And similarly, if I've got an integration already set up to either of those, I'd be able to preload the list of observation types within those tools and sync it to that observation type. Once you've created these issues, they persist over time within this project. So you can add mention or tag additional users to be able to collaborate on that issue in real time, or you can link to that specific issue by copying that issue link and share that with your project team. 
Within this view as well, you'd be able to bring in other types of data to be able to compare against your drawings and design files. For example, this customer has also brought in their BIM file to be able to compare what their current conditions look like compared to their original BIM model. You have the ability to bring in that BIM model currently as a, an NWD file and align that within Drone Deploy. And once you have that BIM model, we'll immediately load you to the exact location and angle that you're looking at within your walk on the left hand side. Pretty powerful that we're only looking at 360 data today. This BIM model is synced in both exterior and interior views, so you'd be able to use this single BIM model for interior inspections as well as exterior inspections. You also have the ability to track data across time. For example, in the auditorium here, I can see we've actually captured a couple different panoramas across time. For example, I can see a panorama was captured on December 8th of 2020, September 28th, August 20th, and July 20th, and that allows me to track changes over time. For example, I can go to that original pano on July 20th of 2020 to be able to see what the site looked like when the envelope was starting to go up and we've just started some of the exterior work. I can also use the media gallery here to navigate and transport ourselves through time to check the changes that have occurred between those dates. You can see what it looks like on August 20th of 2020 when some of the steel roofing was being installed to September 28th once some of the interior work was being completed and the concrete pours were being completed to December 8th of 2020 um, when they had established some scaffolding to finish up the roof itself. This is, of course, data that you can compare side by side as well or share out to this specific view to share with your project team. Lastly, I'll show you where you can go in and generate some of those reports. For example, I can go to the reporting tab and take a look at some of the issue reports that are available on this particular project. So for example, I can take a look at a specific photo group uh, project, some of my exterior issue reports that have been generated, or some of my interior inspection reports that have been created on a variety of different walks. For example, I can filter by a particular walk, in this case the gym inspection that I conducted, view a quick summary of where that issue is located, some metadata about the type of issue, the severity, when it was created, or the cost of repair, a quick link to that issue that is embeddable and usable, as well as any other metadata associated with that issue directly here within this PDF report. This, these issues can be exported as a CSV, or you can share a link to this direct issue report as an interactive issue report. And that's all there is to it. In the next video, I'll talk to you more about how you can automate some of these insights for you. So as opposed to doing manual inspections and manual annotations, being able to leverage some of Drone Deploy's AI tools for you to be able to automatically identify some of these issues, as well as leveraging our automation platform to be able to automatically capture walks, photos, videos, and other data for you on a schedule.